from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. All right, we're capping off what has been a fantastic day. Sunset at 547, and so the days are getting longer. The earliest the sun sets in Tulsa is 509. So you can tell we gained quite a few minutes. Uh, we're not quite up to 40, but we're at 38, so closing in on that. But again, the day was ideal because, first of all, we had sunshine. And second of all, the temperatures were the warmest of any time we've had in January. So we hit 68 to 70 degrees in the Tulsa area, while 60 uh, was the highest temperature, and that was back on January 11th. Otherwise, we went kind of through this cold spell and kind of of nasty weather but we're not complaining as we look forward though it's still as we had now start to extend now into february it's going to be wetter than normal and most of us minus the fact of uh, sky took lake in areas north and west we still need to fill reservoirs back up most of us are kind of wet and soggy and kind of like eh, but we're going to get more rain uh there's, there's several storm systems that'll be coming our way in fact the next storm system will show up as we get closer to the weekend especially saturday and partially into sunday and ending on monday so we could see another half inch to two inches of rain across mainly eastern oklahoma there will be some in central oklahoma so it is going to be a significant event so to speak our highest probabilities now showing up late Friday into Saturday and then tapering down a little bit on Sunday. Still be some drizzle, light rain around, but the heaviest rains should be with that 70% chance as we look on in Saturday. Right now, though, it is gorgeous. We're still at 63 degrees, a light west wind. We have a front coming in. They'll give us a light northwest wind. And in the past, those cold fronts have been nasty, cold, but this one isn't. So that's good. We have dropped down to 51 in Pryor and 52 in Wagner while we're hanging at 60 at Catoosa and also downtown. Still, that's 65 over at Pogue Airport. Many areas were in the upper 60s to low 70s during the course of the afternoon hours. I am uh, just to the north and east. We're in the low 60s. If you guys up in this area uh, it's had to deal with 63, that's not too bad. That is really good obviously, compared to where we were one week ago. So tonight, we're going to see temperatures dropping down into the 30s. It's going to drop down fast, a heavy dew and some patchy fog in some of the valley locations. Then for tomorrow, that northwest wind will be around and it'll be a little bit cooler, but not bad. The cooler air will be confined more again to the northeast corner of the state around the Miami area, while areas from Tulsa south and west will be in the mid and then southwest Oklahoma upper 60s. It's a little bit chillier as we look on into Wednesday. We'll be in the upper 20s, so a frosty start here. And then during the afternoon, it's a gorgeous day, lighter winds, uh, but becoming southerly again in the late afternoon hours after north winds during the day. We'll be in the 50s to near 60, but with those light winds, great. Some clouds will be around. We might squeeze out a passing sprinkle on Thursday with temperatures in the 60s again. And then there's a better chance of showers trying to develop late Friday with temperatures around 60 to the low 60s and gusty south winds. And then the best chance of rain, as we said, on Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon. Then some wraparound of that system will come back in on the colder side of it and we'll be dropping in the 40s to low 50s. So Sunday's a little bit on the blah sides. I mean, the weekend overall won't see a whole lot of sun, but the next few days look fantastic. And the extended forecast right now is looking really, really good. This is the extended forecast takes us out for about three weeks and that is a forecast that doesn't have arctic air in it so let's hope that that can keep on so the jet stream is uh, pretty much our friend right now not our foe and that means more in the way of pacific air even though storm systems could move in or will move in it's not going to be bad all right 49 at nine if you're in areas east of tulsa you're almost there already like we said it's 51 and prior at this time you'll be down near 42 by that time 38 in tulsa in the morning chilly uh, heavy dew and by the time we get into the afternoon, temperatures are going to still get a bump into the low 60s from Tulsa West, 50s if you're northeast of Tulsa. Wednesday's pleasantly cool and still great on Thursday and Friday. Next week, even with that storm system, it doesn't feel all that bad. So a nice switch, nice change of events going on in the world of weather. That sunshine, Ooh. just seeing that alone was a big mm, boost today. That's something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that helps. Thanks, Travis. Mighty nice.